So this is Junior. Say hi, Junior. Hi. And he's going to tell us what it was like in the old days. Yeah. 1961. 1961 or the or 62, 61 maybe. Well, anyway, I was working at Batesville at a factory, and uh, I was making about a dollar twenty-five an hour, maybe a dollar thirty-five an hour. A dollar thirty-five an hour in yeah. 1961. And you had to have a political pull to get a, get a job there. Uh, but anyway, it was the winter time, and I had three small children and a wife, and I'd been sick for a few days, and so. When I got my paycheck, it was far less than usual, and because had, you were sick. Because I, yeah, I just worked for about three days. Yeah, I lost three or four days' work, and so I just got paid for two or three days' work. I had a paycheck for about fifty dollars, I think, and by that time, the wife and children got, had gotten sick, and I went to the doctor after work hours. We found a doctor somehow that after dark that would see us and he wrote out some prescriptions and I took him down to the corner drugstore and I noticed that it took a long time for the pharmacist to fill their order you know and he came out with an arm loader medicine <laughs> and uh, it was quite a bit more than my check I just got paid that day I hadn't bought any groceries uh, the, the, the bill for the medicine was quite a bit more than my paycheck and we didn't know anybody down there much but we we did sort of know this couple that had a grocery store and it wasn't like a supermarket it was just a mom and pop store and I got them to sell me some groceries on credit and uh, there's Mr. and Mrs. Vest and so but that was hard times having to beg the pharmacist to let you have the medicine and when you didn't have enough money to pay for it and buy groceries on the credit. And so $50 was what you made for the week? 40 to 50 something like yeah. that. Yeah, and so normally you would have... 56, $56 a week. $56 a week. $8 a day was your average pay and you worked 12 hour shifts, well, seven not, days a not, week? Not the, oh yeah, before I got this job at Baseball. Oh. Yeah, I worked 12-hour shift uh, for $8. And then I got this job for about $1.15 an hour. That was the minimum wage. This factory had to pay that. And it wasn't the minimum wage in the state, just at that factory. Minimum, minimum wage. Yeah, statewide minimum wage. And uh, so you had to know somebody, have a political pull to get a job there. See, we lived in Sharp County when I worked at the station for 75 cents an hour. Had to know somebody because they'd passed a bond issue in Independence County and the voters were down there was uh, kind of responsible for this factory, Cyberling Rubber Company. They'd moved down from Akron, Ohio. So you had to have a inside somebody help you get a job there. And uh, so when I went to work there for $1.15, uh, that was a step up. And that's when we had the, 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 the bill at the pharmacist for $60 or so, and I had about a $40 paycheck and, uh, and no groceries. Ugh. And that was hard times. And thank goodness people back then would help. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. nowadays, nowadays you would just be... You couldn't go to Walmart or Walgreens now and get a dollar no. credit, you know. No. Uh, They'd say you're stealing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now tell us one of your favorite jokes. Oh, well, I, the one I think of right now is about the revenue man. Yeah, so let's, <laughs> let's hear it. It's a good one. Well, there was this revenue agent back in Prohibition days when you weren't supposed to on the dry territory, I guess, you wasn't supposed to have liquor. And this revenue agent got word that a certain man was making whiskey. And so he... Moonshine. He, he, yeah, moonshine. So he he learned that the, that the gentleman had a, a little boy. 
And so he thought if he could get that boy, he might get that his son to take him to where his daddy was so he could find his still. So he ran into the little boy one day in town and said, Son, I'll give you a dollar to take, take me where your daddy is. And the little boy thought a minute. He said, Well, I guess I could do that. And the revenue man said, Okay, get get in and we'll, we'll go down there. And the little boy said, well, I want my dollar now. Revenue man said, well, I'll pay you when we get back to town. The little boy said, uh-uh, that ain't going to work. And they argued a little bit. And the little boy said, well, mister, you just don't understand. If I take you where my daddy is, you won't be coming back to town. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love it. I love it. Anything else you want to tell these people? Oh, I guess that's... It's, it's better today. Yeah, it's better today. <laughs> it is better today. Yeah. I made ten thousand dollars yesterday. If this day this deal goes through, so it's better times now. Better times now. <laughs> yeah. but, so back in nineteen sixty one, ten thousand dollars would have been what three years worth of income. Yeah. More than that. Oh yeah. Uh, so eight dollars because it was eight dollars a day, seven days a week, yeah. before you got on in Batesville when you were making. Yeah. What did you say it was? Fifty dollar fifteen an hour. I don't know. Forty hours a week. That'd be about. Uh, that wouldn't be much more. No, fifty it? something dollars I a week. I wasn't working as many hours. As <laughs> right, I as you were at the other place. Yeah. <laughs> at Razorback, though, it was eight dollars a day yeah. for twelve hours. Yeah. Eight dollars a day for twelve hours. Fifty-six dollars a week. Fifty-six dollars a week. Yeah. That's oh. And most people nowadays make more than fifty-six dollars a day. Oh yeah. I mean, you can't live on it. no, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. It's crazy to me. Yeah. Evelyn, you want to tell a story, or are you no, no. Evelyn says no. Well, back then, when when she went to work, later, uh, I don't know how much we we weren't making a lot of money, but you could buy an acre of land with a day's wages here. We, oh. we bought land here for $25 an acre. Wow. And th this land right here we bought for $5 an acre. Wow. Uh, 60 acres for $300. Yeah. 60 we, acres for $300. And we, and we had to borrow the whole thing, the whole $300. <laughs> uh, but you couldn't buy an acre of land now for a day's wages. You Anybody, no. nobody around here is making that kind of money. No, and you couldn't buy, for $300, you couldn't buy a rock in, somebody, <laughs> in somebody's yard. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, that's it crazy. Has changed. Wow, and so how long have y'all been here? Uh, since 65. 1965. 1965, that's when you bought the land. Uh, we bought the land in 58. 58. 58. Yeah. Oh. We built a little house here in That's when I was working at the switchboard. <laughs> at the switchboard. And you sure you don't want to tell the switchboard story? It's so awesome. Number, please. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell the switchboard story? I don't know. I don't remember much about the switchboard. No, he stayed in the pool hall. Yeah, I stayed in the pool hall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was across the street. <laughs> Played pool till I was tired. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's awesome. Yeah, but uh, he got he got hurt and he was drawing unemployment. I mean, he got hurt on the job, and then after so long, then he, he was drawing unemployment that winter, and he was staying in the pool all. Oh, jeez. You got a dollar a month for each phone. Is that was that right? Yeah. And a, and four a, hours a day, seven days a week. And a little house to live in. Yeah. But that was good old days. <laughs> yeah. All right. Tell we, them bye. We learned, you? we learned how to live within our means. They learned how to live within their means. We didn't, didn't think about having a credit card. Yeah. No. Was there credit cards back then, there, those days? I don't know. Mm -mm. No? I don't suppose there was. Didn't have that plastic money then. Yeah. Most people shouldn't have plastic money now. <laughs> they are not responsible with it. Yeah, it has changed quite a bit. It has. And tell us how old you are, Junior. 
Oh, I'll be 82 in just a few days. Saturday. 82 on Saturday? I didn't know. <laughs> oh, are we having a party? I don't know about any party. <laughs> <laughs> we could take you to the pool hall. <laughs> relive, your, relive your fun days. I haven't shot a game of pool in years and years. But I did enjoy it. I understand <laughs> our son David's pretty good at it now. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, these are the old times from Junior and Evelyn, even though Evelyn doesn't want to be seen on the camera. <laughs> tell everybody bye, Junior. Bye-bye. You yeah. have any words of wisdom you want to tell him? Oh, I can't. I'm not a good What is a piece of advice if you could tell some young dummy? Oh, I don't know. I Learn guess. to live within your means. Learn yeah. to live within your means, yeah. Evelyn says. And appreciate the good things, the fact that we have freedom here and we still do. I hope we continue to. But the, co every day. the country has really gone crazy in the last few years. Yeah. And it I'm, has. I'm very concerned about it. But it's been good and we need to appreciate it. Yep. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.